Today, we discuss the term two parcel in 2023, question 20. First one, what is mean by alternating current? Okay, it is an electric current that periodically reverses its direction. Second, explain two ways to increase the current in RC circuit that has constant values of resistance and capacitance. So R and C is constant. So four marks. Okay, so let's review the formula. V equal to I X. Okay, where X is the impedance. Okay, so which is the square of R square plus the reactance square. So reactance of the capacitance is one over omega C. So if we carefully look at the questions, there are two variables that we can change. First one is we can change the V, the magnitude of the AC voltage supply. Okay, because uh, by looking at the formula V equal to I X. The higher the voltage, the higher the current flow in the circuit. Okay, so for Max, we need to explain a little bit on the method that uh, we're going to propose. So the next thing is we can increase the frequency of the AC voltage supply, okay, which is the omega. The omega equal to 2 pi f. Okay, so if we have higher frequency, the capacitor reactance will decrease, which also decrease the impedance. So the lower the impedance, the higher the current flow in the circuit. So we move on to the next question. A resistor of resistance 25 ohm capacitor 100 microfarad are connected in series in the sinusoidal voltage supply, which oscillate at a frequency of 60 hertz. Root mean square current of 1.25 ampere flows in the circuit. First one, calculate the peak voltage across the resistor and the capacitor. Six marks. So I think many people would love this question. We have the reactance 1 over 2 pi Fc, so we can calculate it is equal to 26.5 ohm. And we need to get the peak voltage, so please convert the room square current to peak current, which is multiplied by sub 2. So the first one is to get the voltage across the resistor, so what we have is the current multiply the resistance, which is equal to 44.2 volts. And the next one is the peak voltage across the capacitor, so what we have is also the current multiply the reactance of the capacitor, which is equal to 46.8 volt. So six marks is quite generous. Okay, let us move on to the next one. Calculate the first angle between the current and the voltage. So also what we have learned, we have the angle is tangent, inverse tangent of Vc over Vr, or we also can use a reactance over the resistance. Okay, the final answer is 46.7 degree. Let's move on to the last question. Sketch on the same axis of time the variation of the root mean square voltage and the variation of the voltage supply. So this is something new because uh, we don't learn it directly in the syllabus. Okay, but actually we learn about the we know about the root mean square. Okay, root mean square. The definition is a DC voltage value which dissipates power at the same value as the mean power dissipated by the AC voltage. So we want to sketch okay, the root mean square voltage and the voltage supply. Okay, so root mean square voltage is a DC voltage, okay, which is a voltage that has a lower value compared to the peak voltage. Okay, we know that V0 divided by set 2 that is the root mean square voltage. And the voltage supply is an AC supply, so it should be a sine wave. So I think this should be the graph, and that's all for this question. Thank you.